Feeds formulation is an integral part of catfish farming business, especially in Nigeria. This is due to the fact that imported feeds are very expensive due to the cost of logistics on importation and weak local currency, making the cost of such product very high. Fish farmers in this case are encouraged to produce feeds for their fishes in order to reduce the high cost of fish production and also enjoy flexibility in choice of feed ingredient and feed formulation. It has been observed that majority of catfish farmers have little or no knowledge of this aspect of the business. In this video, we will be talking about how to produce catfish feed and also pelleting the feeds. The major ingredients used for making catfish feed and their quantities are as follows. Number one, roasted cassava flakes, also called gari, 15 kg. Maize flour, 15 kg. Groundnut cake, also called kuli kuli, 20 kg. Soya bean, 30 kg. Blood meal, 5 liter or 500 g. Metonin, 0.1 kg. Fish meal, 25 kg. Vitamin C, 0.1 kg. And salt, 0.2 kg. The total quantity of ingredient we're going to produce there is about 105 kg. Procedure for mixing. Boil about 5 liters of clean water. Now pour the water into a 20 liter empty bucket. Now add the cassava flakes or gari into the hot water and stir properly. You can also add blood meal into the mixture and stir properly. Also add the following ingredients to it. Soya bean meal, fish meal, methionine, one after the other and stir. Now dissolve the salt in water and add to the mixture and continue stirring. The last stage in this production is the pelleting and drying of the feeds. At this juncture, I would like to introduce you to the pelleting machine. This machine here is called the pelleting machine. This is a machine you can use to turn the feeds that you have prepared into pellets. Um, it's just like the Egusi grinding machine, just very similar to the Egusi grinding machine. The only difference is that um, this the pellet comes out from here. This is where the pellet comes out from. Now, this size of the pellet can be changed. You can remove this in order to change the size of the pellet. It means that you will have to have different sizes of this in order to get different sizes of the pellet. So this is how the pelleting machine looks like. This is the funnel where you put all the feet and when you put the feet here, all you have to do is to rotate this handle here and it's designed in such a way that the feet is being pushed out and it comes out from here. And because of this size that has been created here, it's gonna come out in the sizes that you have here. So this will have to be changed if you want a different size for the pellet. So this is used by fish feed producers to turn fish feeds into pellets. 